What's up Heat fans? Your boy Ernest here and I am back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Before we start rocking and rolling you guys with another Miami Heat Talk adventure, please take a moment, smash the like button, don't forget to subscribe. Got some really good news for you guys. Um, for the people that have been talking about the sound quality in my videos, I'm sure you're noticing it sounds a lot better. I got a new microphone. Hey, hey, your boy Ernest is stepping up his game. It's like I've told you guys through this whole process. As time goes on, we're going to get better and better with this YouTube podcast channel. So sit back, relax, you guys, because I got a couple updates to give y'all. Um, so tonight is game two for the Miami Heat preseason game. It's going to be the Miami Heat against the San Antonio Spurs. Um, as... I'm sure most of us are seeing, when it comes to preseason, you guys, these aren't really like big games. These aren't games that the Miami Heat are really trying to win. It's like I've said in the past, these five preseason games are going to show us what exactly we have with this roster. Now, with tonight's game, it comes with a lot of Heat players sitting out. Uh, per, uh, per Ira Winderman yesterday, it was reported by Coach Spolstra that Jimmy Butler, Caleb Barton, Jaime Jaquez... Uh, Josh Richardson, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, Kevin Love, and Kyle Lowry are all sitting out tonight. Um, for a lot of Heat fans, you're going to probably think, oh, I'm not going to watch this game. There's no stars playing. These type of games, I feel, are my favorite. Well, <laughs> let, me, let me backtrack. Not my favorite. My favorite about preseason. Why? There's still 48 minutes to play. In this game and with all our stars sitting out this is going to give other players opportunity we're going to see what guys like orlando robinson cole swider uh duncan robinson hopefully he comes back from that terrible game one um you're going to see jamal kane you're going to see drew smith you're going to see hope um you're going to see a lot of young players come and step up and try to earn a spot with this roster um we've seen guys in the past step up with games like this so we want to see exactly what we have with tonight's game. Um, I, I'm assuming that Victor Wembayama is going to play. So we're either going to start with Thomas Bryant or Orlando Robinson. I think it's smarter if Colt Spoll starts Orlando Robinson simply because we want Thomas Bryant to get used to this backup center role. I feel that through this whole process with Bam Adebayo starting, Thomas Bryant is the best backup center we've had to Bam Adebayo. Now, you can say Kelly Olynyk, you can say Myers Leonard. Um, I don't really think we would say Myers Leonard. I think it would be a toss-up between Thomas Bryant and Kelly Olynyk. Uh, remember, Kelly Olynyk was brought here to be the starting power forward next to Bam. So they did play a lot together. It was towards later in the um, in Ke uh, Kelly Olynyk's time here in the Heat where he was starting to come off the bench. Uh, but if you want me to be honest, I think Thomas Bryant brings a different skill set that any of our backup players have brought in. Um, I love the fact that he could score. I love the fact that he can rebound. I love the fact that he hustles. And he looks so comfortable playing with Tyler Hero. Uh, this is a guy that we can feel confident leaving in and give Bam Adebayo some rest, especially towards the playoffs. So that's going to be a really great positive thing to see. I'm, I'm really looking at specific guys tonight, you guys. I don't care if the Miami pull out with a dub or not. It's like I've said before, we can go 5-0 and this preseason process, and that doesn't mean anything. Um, what did mean something and what I did like to see was in the last game against Charlotte, when Miami was down by 9 with 3 minutes left, these young players stepped up and took the dub. That shows you something. That shows you that guys like Cole Swider, Orlando Robinson, Drew Smith, Jamal Cain, these guys can be called on with games like this. Because we're going to see in the regular season that Jimmy Butler, Caleb Martin, Bam Adebayo, they're not going to be able to play some games. Now, going on into injuries, there is another topic I want to talk about, uh, which is the main topic of this video. The Miami Heat have recently gotten two different injuries to the roster, and unfortunately, it's our young guys. Both Nikola Jovic and Jaime Jaquez have suffered injuries. Uh, Nikola Jovic, it was reported that he got injured in the first preseason game. That's why he only played seven minutes. Jaime Jaquez, um, the day after the preseason game on Tuesday, uh, or Wednesday, I believe, I forgot what day, but um, it looks like he injured his groin. Now, for those of you that have 
strain the groin. I have. You know, I do pro wrestling. I play basketball myself. Uh, a strained groin lingers. It lingers. So it looks like Jaime Hawkins can be out possibly for two to four weeks. Um, I don't think he's going to play any more preseason games, and it looks like he may miss some regular season games. There's no way to sugarcoat this. It sucks. It really sucks, especially the fact that these are your two youngest players and they're injured. Um, it, 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 that's, that's not starting right, you guys. That sucks. I will say that this roster is deep with Jimmy Butler, Caleb Martin, Kyle Lowry, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero. You guys know the squad. Uh, but we are a deep team, so we're going to be able to handle it. But you're looking for guys like Nikola Jovic and Jaime Hawkes to step up during the season, to step up in times like December, January, when certain players are getting rested for the playoffs. Um, now, I to talk about them individually, um, Nikola Jovic, from what I've heard, it's not a serious injury. His name wasn't even posted in the injury report, so it is possible that he plays tonight. Um, I, I did see that I, I, I was hearing reports that Nikola Jovic was out there in practice. He did get his knee checked by a specialist. It doesn't look like it's something serious. I don't think Nikola Jovic should be playing tonight. I think you should really hold these guys back. The last thing you want to do is have a setback for the recovery. That's going to hamper us. So with Jaime Jaquez, his situation is a little bit different. Just like I mentioned, you guys, it's a strain growing. Uh, it's not a season ender. It's not going to keep him out for multiple months. This is a week by week thing, you know, for those of you that have strained your groin, uh, the next day it sucks, you know, walking becomes a little bit of an issue for the first week, then the second week you're starting to feel better, you're starting to move better, but if you make a wrong movement, you'll pop the groin again. Uh, the groin is a very sensitive muscle. It's very, very, very prone to pop, especially when you, re, uh, when you aggravate it. So right now what the dude needs to do is just get some rest, put some heat compressions on it, stretch as much as possible. Uh, I know all this because I've suffered it myself, you guys. I've popped hamstrings, I've popped my groin, i popped shoulders out of place, you know. This is stuff that takes time to heal. But the good news is he will return soon. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, once something else pops up, I'll definitely let you guys know. Tomorrow, I'll be posting a new video with the results of tonight's game. Uh, I would like to get a video for you guys tonight, but we got some family stuff going on, so you'll be getting a video from me tomorrow. A reminder, I will not be, I, excuse me, I will not be doing the free jersey giveaway contest tomorrow. I want to give some more time for people to enter the raffle. Now, for those of you that have commented to me that do not have Twitter, don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. Everybody is gonna be in this raffle, okay? Now, I showed it a few days ago. As, actually, as a matter of fact, give me a second, guys. Let me show it to you guys again. Why not, right? Here it is. The Bam Adebayo Pink Miami Vice jersey. So this jersey is the one I will be gifting away. And just a reminder, you guys, to enter the contest, you need to follow me on Twitter. I will put my handle in the description. Go on Twitter, follow me to be entered in the raffle. If you do not have Twitter, send me a message on the comments in YouTube and we'll figure something out. Don't worry, you guys. Everybody's going to be in the contest. It will be unveiled next Saturday. Next Saturday, I will be doing the unveiling for the raffle. The way that it's going to be done is I'm going to be doing a live video, my very first live video. I'm going to give you guys some time to jump in, and I'll just be pulling a name out of a hat. We're going old school here, you guys. Something special I want to do for you guys to thank you all for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. When we hit 3,000, I'll do something different. Thank you guys so much for the time, the love, and the support. And until next video, your boy Ernest out. That's enough said. Let's go, Heat.